assistance. Uh, as Fab Fabio mentioned, I look after our retail strategy in the trade of profitability versus growth, how you think about merchandising strategy. And so, as Fabio and I were talking with our retail partners, is a focus on their customers, are thinking about building one-to-one -one and their future customers. And so, I'm going to spend the next few minutes in what the smartest retailers are doing with the way the world is shown with the device. The speed, the access that you have with a mobile device takes things that as a consumer you thought were impossible and now makes them available and what you expect. They're more curious. Number two, they're more demanding. And number three, they are more impatient. So what does it mean? They're informed. They want to know more about virtually everything. They want ideas on the purchases that they're making or that they could be making. And they're going to be far smarter when they do end up making that purchasing decision. On terms like best toothbrush doubles every year. Best umbrella doubles every year. We have an expectation that the world we live in will be personalized. Expects your website, your marketing programs to be personalized to you as an individual. The volume of searches in best running shoes for me have doubled in the last year. We expect them right now. If I go to your website and it takes too long to load, I'm out of there. I can't, I can't. We expect that when we make a purchase, it's gonna be quick, and increasingly that it's gonna be free. Right, so those are the big changes that we're seeing in our consumer, how you used your phone. Many of you are using it right now, either to take pictures, hopefully not text a friend of yours or read email. But when you wait, they'll do that on their phone. You're searching, you're watching videos, you're talking to friends. On average, we use our phones over 150 times in the phone and how you're using the phone. We're getting to a place now where we assume that phone is our assistance in life, that it's gonna guide us through all of the different things that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, and we can't live without it. He's it a Harvard Business School professor, so I thought that was relevant. Um, and he's wrote a bunch of different books, but he was someone who did early thinking on the value that brands need to have to the consumer and how that needs to evolve over time. If you are not helping your customer, they will ignore you. Number two, if you're not providing value to them, they're gonna block you out. And number three, if you don't answer the question that's being asked of you as a brand, they're gonna take your app off your phone, they're gonna leave your website and never. It's about being assistive in their life every day in every way that you can. So brands and retailers to assist me. Well, first of all, we needed decorations. So I went to Etsy, I found ideas on New Year's party, they shipped that quickly to my They actually can send alcohol to your house and they will make recommendations based on New Year's. Instacart can do that for you. And at the end of the night, some of my friends maybe shouldn't have been driving, so they used Lyft to get a ride ahead. And it's created this, this new moment. That's not a word, don't worry. That is an acronym that we've started to use. And it stands for, I want what I want, what I want, and I'm going to get it. If I'm a consumer, that's the world. If you're doing things, Price, assortment, convenience, service, experience. That is still how you will differentiate and win in retail. It was now well over $100 billion in retail spend based on how they thought about that. If we go out the next 10 years, we're going to see the last 40 years. How you think about your omni channel presence, how you think about inventory, all of those things look like. It's about how you connect with your customer in your potential personalized fashion. Second, it's about how you drive action, right? So, 
And number three, it's about how you can accelerate your business. There's a lot of talk about data and machine learning. Those things are rapidly becoming the key differentiator for retailers, so you can get back. Um, to consumer brand. Two out of three of them have never even heard of that brand when they started their journey, right? And what that told us is that marketing to a demographic, thinking about reach and frequency is outdated because we have now the capabilities to connect with individuals one-to-one -one at every touch point in their journey. Last that's been massively disrupted. Purple Mattress is a company that's done very well in this space. Not only do they make very entertaining videos and content that are also very educational, but they understand that in your life, if you get married, if you have a child, you're far more likely to need an content and engage with you based on what you need in that moment, where you are in your life. Travel is an industry that has been massively disrupted and improved by technology. Kayak is the, uh, the partner that I use. But they also understood that most people are looking for the best price on a flight. Fashion. What you're seeing in that video there is they would tell you in that moment what was the cheapest flight for the places you were researching that they ran. Basically, they took very expensive items that they knew that you as a person might be interested in. They built video ads that would, that would run for 30 seconds unless you skipped it. If you skipped it, you would never have the opportunity to buy that item again. Couldn't go to the site to ever with that individual and be assistive in their life. Right? When that customer that you built a relationship with is ready to take out as much friction as you possibly can. So, as an example, the majority of consumers will leave your website if it does not load within three seconds. The majority of your consumers expect that when they go to your website, they will see their shipping information and their billing information auto-populated. These are really, really easy things that can have massive, massive increase in your store. More important, and it's a massively untapped opportunity. We see the search volume for buy near me, shop near me, up over 200% year after year. Right? This is table stakes. So let me show you the largest uh, retailer of flowers in the United States, and they were an early pioneer. The company's name is a phone number. Uh, their sales that take more share in the market. So what did they do? They focused on speed and, redu and reducing friction. We worked with them with AMP pages, with mobile web app pages, to get to the point where you could now start your search to, to purchase flowers and be done in less than 30 seconds. Right, all up, we're up 50%, last year, 50% just by making it easy and reducing points of friction. Wayfair focuses in the home space and really is trying to own from inspiration through fulfillment the retail experience. If you do a simple search for mirror, you can see some great content, some videos of the mirrors. It's personalized to you, it's fast, they're serving up recommendations to you, but they've taken it two steps further than most retailers. They now use VR and AR capabilities within your phone. So let's say you find the mirror that you want, you can actually check and see, does that fit on my wall? Does that look good? And if it does, you can click how you accelerate your business over. It's actually quite easy. It's just a machine, and all it needs is a goal in your data set, and it will run, and it will optimize. And this is something that we're seeing retailers who are differentiating and leading the most, leaning the furthest in of every part of the customer base that we work with. It could be a company like CarMax that sells cars. Their biggest problem, they, they, they make more money on used cars, they didn't have enough people selling car, a used car. They could find you a buyer in less than 20 minutes just by using the machine. Their in-store sales, their online sales, and use that to better forecast, decide what inventory, what presence they want, and drove an 8% increase in their revenue. So I could go on and on, but in retail, are the future and are accelerating at an unbelievable pace. This could be how you think about your online channel presence. This could be how you think about your merchandising strategy in any of those ways. And so what I would ask of you is between now and maybe when you're back here next year, just pick one or two things within your business and leverage machine learning to make those things possible. The retailers that are winning in the age of assistance are connecting one-to-one -one 
not in mass, but personalized to that end of friction as you can and are accelerating using data and using machine learning. And so if you can focus on these things as retailers, then you'll be able to assist your customer today and tomorrow, and you will be able to deliver the extraordinary. So thank you very much.